Hi my darlings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Cindy from iowander.com. So I've chopped my hair off, like I really wanted to grow it, but it just wasn't cooperating. Uh, but anyways, so today I'll be sharing with you guys the top 10 attractions in Seoul. Having lived there for two years, I can honestly say that there's literally so much to see and do in Seoul. But I think these are the attractions that you definitely don't want to miss. So in no particular order, let's get started. <music> So first on the list we have Gyeongbokgung Palace which is the largest palace in Seoul. You'll see a lot of people dressed in hanbok which is the traditional Korean clothing and it's right in the middle of the city right by Gwanghamun Square so it's definitely a must see. So second on the list, we have Cheonggaecheon, which is a stream that runs through the heart of the city. You'll find a lot of business professionals in the area. A lot of events are held here, including the Lantern Festival. Next, we have Bukchon Hanak Village, which is a quaint little area with traditional Korean houses. It's located hilltops so with its gorgeous views. And my favorite tea house in the city, Cha Cho, is located here as well. Next, we have Ihua Mirror Village. It's a charming area with lots of murals and cute little shops. Next we have Dongdae Moon Design Plaza, also known as DDP. It's a cool futuristic architecture and events are held here as well, such as fashion shows. And there's thousands of LED roses, so it looks really pretty at night. Then there's the iconic Enso Tower, which is often the backdrop of many photos of the city. It's located on top of Namsan, so you can take the cable car up. And there's an the observation deck, as well as the famous Love Locks, which are featured in many K-dramas. Next we have the Han River, which runs through the city. Many Many locals come to Hangang Park to unwind and the popular thing to do is order fried chicken delivery and just chill. Next up is Narayangjin Fish Market. It's the largest fish market in Seoul. There's a ton of fresh seafood selection, so it's great for seafood lovers like myself. So how it works is after you make your purchase, you go to the level with the restaurants and they cook it how you like it. Next is Go To Mall, which is the largest underground shopping in Seoul. It's Shopping Haven. It was usually my go-to when I needed a little retail therapy. I just felt like it was less touristy compared to like Myeongdong, and there was usually always like cheap finds and great deals. And last but not least, we have Bukhansan National Park. It's hiking and nature right by the city, so you definitely have to check it out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you visited Seoul before, what's your favorite attraction? If you haven't, what seems like the most appealing? And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.